Ready to roll? I'm Steve Sorge. I'm from East Troy, Wisconsin, and I brought with me my my TBM 3E, built 1945, better known as Yogi Bear. Yeah, it was built July of 1945. Uh, didn't see any action during the war. It spent its first five years with the um, with the U.S. Navy Guard units, and then the next five years it was in the Canadian Navy doing shore patrol on East Patrol of the uh, the, the of Canada. Um, and then after that, it spent 11 years as a sprayer in New Brunswick. It was fighting the uh, a spruce budworm epidemic they had with the uh, the Forestry Service up there. 780 missions over an 11-year period. Then there was a little bit of downtime. Um, it was picked up by a gentleman named Dusty Dowd in Syracuse, Kansas in 1986. Um, and they started the restoration there. And then it was finished in California under a gentleman's uh, name of Chuck Wentworth. And Chuck restored it and flew it from 86 until uh, three years ago or four years ago, uh, early 2000. And then I picked it up um, in 2000, uh, flew it home from California, Paso Robles, California, in on uh, Labor Day of, uh, I'm sorry, Labor Day of 2020 during the pandemic. And I've owned it ever since. I'm brought out here is the TBM 3E in the fire bomber configuration. We came from uh, Cape May, New Jersey. We are stationed at the Naval Air Station Wildwood at WWD Airfield in Cape May County, New Jersey. And we took five hours of flying to come out and uh, it was a nice flight. It was born in 1945, signed to a carrier, but never got into wartime. The end of the war was near. Uh, the carrier never went into action. Then it was sold all to spray operators in Washington State. Spray beetles on the spruce trees. They flew it to Greece to spray over there for a year. Came back and then it ended up in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada with the Forest Protection Limited and sprayed there. I bought the plane in 2005 when they were selling their fleet. It was the end of the TBMs doing spraying and water bombing. And I've had it since then. And I've left it in the water bomber configuration. This is the last one in that configuration. This configuration is what saved the lives of TBM. If it wasn't for spraying, water bombing, uh, there would have been no use for them and they'd been frying pans. So now, this is a legacy of what saved the TBM. So my name is Mike Hudak and I'm from Joliet, Illinois. And that's where the TBM Avengers from. And uh, it's kept at the Joliet Airport. And the pilot and owner is Mr. Tom Buck from Joliet. He's owned this since, I believe, about 1989. He's been flying it ever since. Prior to that, uh, he started out on an SNJ. And then in the meantime, acquired this and been, been flying it ever since out of Joliet. Oh, it was used at uh, firefighting in, uh, in Canada. 
and it was restored, I think around 1987. It was restored up in Canada and Tom acquired it and uh, been flying it ever since.